Welcome to Seeker Daily. I'm your host, Aiden, and today we're going to discuss the FARC. The FARC is a terrorist group created in Colombia during 1964, and it is still in question today whether it is viewed as a military group or a terrorist group. It is located in Colombia and the group is found in jungle areas. The FARC has two main ways of attacking, the first being bomb attacks and the second being kidnapping. Bombing occurs all over Colombia, and some examples of the attacks are bombing oil tanks, bombing pipelines, and bombing oil wells. Kidnappings in the FARC has decreased in a lot since the year 2000 due to the U.S. starting to get involved. By 2012, the FARC banned kidnapping and kidnapping rates have dropped by 23%. There are current debates today deciding whether the FARC is a terrorist group or a military organization. Based on past acts such as kidnapping and bombing, which the FARC has been responsible for, they are categorized as a terrorist group. However, this topic is very controversial due to the fact that the FARC has military presence within Colombia. Originally, the FARC was developed by Manuel Marulinda and Jacob Arinas. They have other leaders such as Alfonso Cano, who, who has been murdered in November 2011. The FARC was initially created by the influence of guerrilla forces. The FARC's initial goal was to completely overthrow the Colombian government and input a Marxist regime. The FARC fight for Colombia's rural people and poor people by taking hold of power through armed revolution. The Colombian government has decided to have a peace treaty with the FARC because the numbers of deaths are very high on both sides. The peace treaty took place in Opolo, La Habana. The signing of the peace treaty led to the stop of Bogota conflicts in November 2016. The main influence of places are jungles and poor areas because the people who live in these areas are very uneducated and very easy to influence for the FARC. There are two principal countries that are putting forth efforts against the FARC. Colombia is one of them and they are supported by the U.S. with the U.S.'s military and money. In the year 2000, the U.S. supplied one billion dollars in foreign aid and down the road in 2005, there was a $300,000 increase in military aid. Thanks for listening and this is Seeker Daily.